Sorry about that, guys. The internet is not perfect. Looks like we're good. Changed. But those numbers might be useful. Which numbers? This? Hold on. I looked at that and then realized. Oh, right. <clears throat> okay. Zero zero five eight three nine eight eight five four two. Five four two is underlined and in red. What does he have here? Who writes like this? I'm sorry. If anyone writes like this, I'm sorry. Drawing. Let's look. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Mm. Says, what? Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Okay. Prepaid phone card. Interesting. Do we have that number on this? 95355542. Let's look oh, at this. So busted. <clears throat> Good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Disciplinary warning report, right. We, re we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings. Right. Um, what was he doing again? Oh, let me, okay. Right, he had um, an outburst in Mrs. Hoyta's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th. Nathan was sent back to his dorm for the day without a proper writer for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision behind Blackwell's ability, right? Okay. Hmm. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay. So. We can select that in this. And... This and this. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. I don't think I'm right, but what am I doing? Let's start hacking. Whoa, Nathan messaged me. Oh. What? Get ready to fucking die, bitches. You F up my dorm room, I kill your scholarship. Okay. Great. Gotta love it. Psycho. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how to crack this one. 9535. I don't know. Let's unlock. Oh boy. Uh, nine. Oh gosh, do I really have to do this? Nine. Five. Three, five. Oops, bad code. Damn, that's not good. Uh, hmm. Sim pin one, 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 one. That doesn't make sense why that would work. Seems a bit obvious, doesn't it? Five, four, two. So that nine, five, three, five doesn't work. That is a nine, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I don't think this is it. Mm. This is what I chose though. <clears throat> It's four pin. It's a four pin, a four number pin. I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't talk. Um, is there anything here that can help us? Oops. Yeah, this doesn't look right. Seven, eight, zero, seven, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I thought I saw that here. No. 7063, that's his home phone. If 
five, four, three, one. It's gonna lock me out, isn't it? Okay. Let's try again. Five, four, oops, three, one. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay. Let's try one, one, one. One, one. Oops. One, one. You locked it, dumbass. Well, gotta rewind. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay, so it looks like I can't go back to... Like, I can't look at the other items. I have to figure this out first. Let's start hacking. Hmm. What's P-U-K? Eight seven eight nine seven eight zero eight. What is that P-U-K? What does that stand for? Stellar Arcadia, mm -hmm, including work with the Arcadia Bay, right? So... Hmm, maybe his birthday? No, that seems really obvious. It would be 829? No. Doesn't make any sense. 3988? What is that? There's something, there's gotta be something on here, I think. Oh, these numbers are together. Hmm. And he has this one underlined and it's red. That isn't, I don't know. Yeah, these numbers, they're not like together. I think I think it's just it's just showing you the the way that like they've written it. So we tried nine five three five. Two thousand years later. I think it's date of birth. I think I grabbed the wrong stuff. But also, if you look back, oops. If you look back at his stuff there, though, there's nothing there. It's just um, it's some drawing. It's the Rachel in the dark room. I don't remember what that letter says. I think that's his disciplinary report. That wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense why he would take that um, as like his code. One eternity later. Maybe his birthday. Let's try zero eight two nine. I got in. Oh my god, it's his birthday. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I totally guessed. What? They, Max didn't even say anything? Okay. Well, um... All right. Uh, we don't know who's who, so let's read. What up? Need the G. Okay. Cool. Bitch, you sold me water. <laughs> Calm down. Bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away. Pigs on the beach. This must be Frank. Yes. Okay. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Uh-huh. Okay. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I need to score ASAP. I don't have, I don't make house calls. You have a car. This is so sketchy. Oh my God. This is so weird. No time. Charge me double. So why does he, sorry. I just realized. He has a prepaid phone. Is it for just the drug deals? Because clearly he was texting me from a main phone, so he's got a phone. And then this one is his throwaway. It's used for drug deals. It's it's got to be that. In transit, get that money drug out. Okay. Drama. Yeah, this is definitely him and Frank. Okay. God, Nathan, you're out of control. Every day, huh? Oh my gosh. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Oh god, wait a minute. So wait a minute. Uh, you're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Yes, don't come. Okay. Okay, need weed. Oh gosh, calm yourself. You tweaking soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet beach. Be cool this time. Oh my god. Keep your mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for you. I know where you sleep. He sent this text yesterday. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. 
Oh, please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before. And being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Oh, wow. Whew. That is heavy. She didn't have like a lame like one-liner. I guess we found all the things. Let's investigate. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Okay, I can. Oh boy. All right, that's the conversation with Frank. This is his text messages with his dad. This is, oh, this is just all Frank. All right, so I think we got to look at the timestamps. This is the four, the fourth. So this is when everything happened, right? Yeah, he, this is at 1024. Frank comes by to deliver it, but where? Blackwell? So what time was that? Okay. Uh, all right. So 1024 to 1034. All right, that's the 540. Okay, yeah, we saw that. 10 a.m. We did not see that. I don't know if that's necessarily. Wait, 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 wait. hold on a second. So on the fourth, 10:34 p.m. That's at night. 10:7, 3:10. Okay, the fourth, 5:40 p.m. Was this it? Mm. Nope, that's not it. Okay. Is this on the same day? Sorry, I'm just taking a listen. Uh, all right. This is on the seventh. Right, okay, ten fifty for the for the weed. And then eleven met at the boondocks. GHB What? <laughs> oh no. So this infamous party was What's the fourth? fourth? It started at eight. Yeah, that's true. So we gotta pay attention to the fourth. Hmm. All right, so that stuff doesn't matter. This is all, this is the day that we need. So after the party, Nathan seems rushed here, so no time, charge me double, damn right, have cash on you, give me the address. So where was it? Date rape drug, mm. I'll call to give you the exact directions in transit, get that money out, okay. So on the 4th, around 10.26 p.m., Frank Musser wrote this down. That's the 7th. This is the 4th. It's at 5.40 p.m. This is the 30th. 10.7. 10.7. at 11 p.m. Boondocks. Okay, so Frank drove to the boondocks and met Nathan for GHB. What? Mm. Okay, so we're looking for the fourth at 11 o'clock around that time. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Nope. This is 10 1, 10 1, 10 5. Okay. Weird. The beach is like Frank's main office. <laughs> it really is. Oh, God. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Mm. 
If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, for sure. So we don't see, I don't see anything with the fourth on here yet. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Huh. Poor rich Nathan. Here's the fourth at 6.23 p.m. Interesting. Not much out there. 10 4, 10 56. This is the boondocks. Is that what that means? Because we're looking for the fourth around 11 o'clock. 10 54 to 11 o'clock. Oh, God. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there, too. Yeah. Okay, what's this? Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Ten, f so this is the fourth. 9.54 p.m. That's an hour before Nathan. Okay. Oh, I need to select stuff. Oh, my bad, shoot. Um, okay, wait, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. 10.34. Okay, that's earlier. This is last, right? So okay, so it's gotta be this with this. And then oops. This? That's the only thing that makes sense because this is that time. Right? We're trying to find Chloe. This is definitely the place. Oh, yeah, I found it. Oh, that's awesome. Here. Okay. I found it. Yay. That, that was, that took a bit, but I like nope. that. Nothing, Max. <gasps> oh, no. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Damn it. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. Okay. I'm on this. Hold on. What, do you, what, what would you even look up? Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Hmm. A brother? We Uncle? Call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? They are. That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. Mm -hmm. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. No. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Yeah, it's not good. Chloe? Yes, sir. Hello, Seventeen. Okay, is this the boondocks? Holy and who? Shit, this is scary. Oh god. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Oh gosh, no. Whoa. My chair Check is sliding. Out. Fresh tire tracks. Really? Dude, really, Max? Somebody was just here. Oh, I guess you can tell, and right? We need to get in that barn. Oh boy. Oh, hi, squirrel. Oh, uh, I don't want to be here. Creepy. Seventeen, how are you doing? Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. No. Warren. I didn't realize that beating the shit out of somebody would bruise my fists. Of course I bruised his face worse. He had that coming. That whole fight was so insane. Yes, it was. How are you doing? Amped up. I wouldn't want to do it again unless I had to. You paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know. Promise. Cool. Now I have to get back to striking super poses. Okay. No time to flirt right now, Warren. <laughs> 
Can anyone see it? We just rolled up here like, like we don't know like, you know, I don't know. Nope, what's this? Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Good question. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Hmm. Chloe is so damn fearless. What am I supposed to do? Where does that come from? I guess I'll look around. Uh-huh. Move. Oh. You would never catch me doing this. Oh, no, 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 no. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. No. I have goosebumps all over. I wish she didn't say that. Come on, Supermax. Mm. Mm -mm. Hey, check out this old chest. Mm -mm. Shut up, Chloe. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. <laughs> Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. Prescott's brain bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Okay. Yeah, screaming aloud is a uh, is a great idea. This is creepy. Yes, old Prescott clippings. Mm -mm. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. This is not a selfie. This is called a portrait. As a photographer, you should know better. <laughs> it's very frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't call it a selfie, you try hard. <laughs> this tractor has paid its dues. <laughs> I'm being too harsh, I'm sorry. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Um, geez, okay. July 22nd, 1903. Martin Lewis Prescott, Prescott Ranch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Dearest... <clears throat> Mr. Linden. <coughs> Sorry. I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen. Oh, great. Okay. And expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest. Plus a written apology. Oh, can you imagine demanding that today? Like, debt collectors asking you to submit an apology letter? <laughs> if these conditions are not met by the end if the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 1903, rest assured, we will make your life a living hell. Kindest regards, MLP. Okay. So he's a gangster, pretty much. That was a slightly uh, aggressive, aggressively worded threat. Okay. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. So lately, I don't know if it's because I haven't been moving around as much, which is a real problem, but I have been having heartburn over anything and everything. And I don't want to blame that it's being 35. It can't be that. I'm doing something different with my diet. It's got to be that. So I'm a little annoyed. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Well, that looks like it's alive and well back then, right? Rusty button. I'll come back to that. So this is, um, I kind of forgot what this is. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Good. Great. Look. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. 
I love that movie. I love that whole series. Ah, the good old days. Pollard's Market Arcadia Bay. Eggs, 14 cents. Bacon, 70 cents. Sugar, 50. Coffee, a dollar. Cocaine? Two dollars? Is that what that says? Y'all had drugs back then, too? Haystack? So many haystacks, so few needles. Ground. Weird. What? Is that what? Is that a door? Damn, lots of info here. Max, why aren't you saying anything? She's does she like comments on the weirdest things. Oh right, this button. What does this do? There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Probably. Look. Chloe would make a great detective, too. Yeah, I think she would. She's nosy. So are you, Max. So are you. Um, okay, ground. Okay. I missed this. Just rotting wood. Alright, and that other spot was not. Okay, another ground spot. <sighs> Nothing here. Okay. Lots of info here. She didn't say anything. <sighs> Nothing here. What am I looking for? Heroin was used for toothaches. Mercury for top hats. Like um, a filling? Maybe? Is that what you mean? If so, that's crazy. Has to be more here than this crate. What am I doing? Do I have to m remove this rope? Or maybe look on this ground? Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. What is this? This, yeah. Mm hmm. It it's totally brand new. Oh. Why? Oh boy. Okay, I don't like what we're stumbling upon here. Mercury was used to get and keep the shape. Really? Wasn't that poisonous? I don't know what that process was like. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. <laughs> no, I cannot. Um, okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me okay. know the second you need any help. Oh, it definitely gave me a hint. I saw that. All right. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. I'm huffing away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Oh, shoot. Something just fell. Okay, this is creepy. Remember the saying, mad as mad hat as a mad hatter? Yes. Is that where that's from? Because the mercury was poisonous and people would have, like, toothaches? And... <clears throat> what am I doing here? Tell me if you need any help. Okay. Climb. Where am I going? That's the craziest fact I've ever heard. Wow. Um, let's look at this. Here's the other end of the rope. Right. What do we do? Mm hmm. Attach. Not fall. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. No, the tooth toothaches were unrelated. Okay. The mercury would make people insane. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Wow. No 
help. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. Okay. I need to hook this up to something heavier. All right. Can I jump back down? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't know if I should. No, I guess not. Uh, let me climb back up. Weird. All right. Oh my god. Owl. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> what a beautiful owl. Oh, I'm so sorry to disrupt you. Hello. Oh, I love owls so much. They're so, so cool. There was um, that owl. I wonder if you heard of him. He was in the news. I think his name was Zeus. And he was blind. Blind owl. And his eyes looked like a galaxy because um i think it was dam like damaged like to his to his like actual like cornea maybe i don't know but his beautiful eyes looked like galaxies and it was so cool i mean poor thing he was blind but the pictures the photos that they have of him Please be careful up there, Max. So beautiful. All right, what am I doing up here, Chloe? Help a sister out. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh. I could use this old motor with that rope and hook. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, if you look it up, um, it's really beautiful. Okay. It's still down there. I gotta keep rewinding. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Attach. I wouldn't have figured that out. That looks very secure. What's the plan? So that didn't work at all. Okay. Do I need to come back down? Ring, ring. Okay. A stack. Hook? Maybe I can. Nope, can't do anything with that yet. All right. No, Max. Try again. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. But let's try again. Okay, it's attached up there. Can I unhook? Attach. Oh. Okay. Now do I push it? Can I rewind and go back up there? Oh, no. Nope, no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna leave that hooked. <laughs> uh, Alright. I think I have to climb back up. One more. Oh, pull. What? This seems bad. This is bad. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh. No, this is bad. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Rewind. Wait, maybe I do need to do that. Hold on a second. This seems a bit backwards, but I think I do need that because I need to climb up there. Right? Okay. No. Do not fine. fall. I'll be alright. Then I think I just need to rewind and bring it back up here. 
again. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't right. Hold on. Okay. Let's try again. I just needed... I didn't have the hook hooked onto the padlock. So this should work. This should work now. Right? Yeah. Pull. Oh yeah, that worked. Max Giver strikes again. Great. Hold. Hold. Really? That's what you're gonna comment on? Okay. So what I did differently was uh, I hooked the hook that was here onto the padlock down here, and then I raised this thing and hold it up really high and then pushed it off the ledge and it ripped the padlock off. It ripped it off. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Damn, this is heavy. This, this, I don't know. What mm -hmm. is this? Mm -hmm. Jackpot. Yeah, jackpot. Not really, but... Do I even need to say how weird this is? It's very, very weird. He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. Oh, God. Danger. Oof. It's creepy. This bunker is so surreal. Wow. Security door. This is, this is crazy. too crazy to break, so I'll need a code. Crazy. First a padlock, then a digi code. Someone really doesn't want visitors. I mean, this is kind of obvious. First a padlock. I, I can then just digi code. Someone really doesn't want visitors. The the numbers are scrubbed away on some of the. What a flaw, right? And like alarm systems right so it's got to be two four five oh it's only three okay so it's got to be a, a permutation of these three let's start with two four five. Oh no it didn't work <gasps> it's five four two it's five four two that was on the um <laughs> that was on nathan's uh his little paper, 542. And you can see the weight of it too. I think the wearing down. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. I thought that only worked in the movie. Nope. Nope, Max. Open sesame. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. Yep. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Jigsaw killer stuff. Oh, hell no. Now, what the hell is this? Oh, no. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Garage bunker? More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Did we? Oh, we did see this at um, at David's garage. Yes, that's true. Letter. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. Okay. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. 
It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if it affects, if, if he acts in a personable manner. Hmm. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I'm always available. Best, Dr. Jacoby. That's heavy. That's really bad. When parents neglect mental health and they know and they're aware and they have the opportunity to address it. It's really, really scary. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh god. Jeez, look, look at this. At all this weird shit. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. <sighs> this game. This just took such a dark turn. <laughs> oh, that son of a bitch. Howard Rourke Construction Stormbreaker Bunker. Full estimate, 1.35 million. Contract signature, Sean Prescott. Oh, God. What's with the Prescott's and creepy art? Talk about torture. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Original showing in this room? No. That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. Oh, God. This is... The red. The red tapes or binders or whatever. There's Rachel... And Kate's name was there. Come on, let's Hope see they what got the them guns about. ready. We are Victoria. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. <gasps> Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate! No, God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those oh. binders are filled with other victims. Oh no. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Oh, wow. Rachel. <gasps> this can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? What? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't what? think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. I wasn't prepared for this. I totally oh thought... Rachel, Kate, all these vials. I... This place actually feels evil. I thought there was so much more of a build up to this and I thought we had like the entire episode and then like the last episode was going to be it. I wasn't expecting this to happen this soon. That's why I'm a little surprised. I'm not surprised because of what we found out. I mean, that's crazy, but I'm just a little surprised that like this is happening like episode four. Okay. That's yeah. Well, let's look. I don't, I don't want to, but. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and Fucking Rachel has passed out, Ugh. and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? Mm. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. Is that Nathan? I can't. Laying with her? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Kate looks so doped up. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Wow. Note. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. 
I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can F it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you or you're on your own. Let's see what's in here. Oh no. Oh my God. No. It's sick. Oh God, I don't like this at all. Okay. Let's keep looking. Ah, oh, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. <laughs> okay. It's not the time for jokes now. Look, there's drinks in here. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. This is crazy. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Search continues for popular Blackwell student. Blackwell student safe from rooftop suicide. Somebody likes their whiskey. Hmm. Needles. Needles. Gross. Beautiful bunker minus the red room vibes, right? This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Oh, is it? This must no. be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Mm. Tripod crate. Okay. All right, we saw that. So who's using this fancy tripod? This is crazy. Hmm. Okay, I'm creeped out. Chloe left me in here all by myself. I think I checked everything. Yeah. Oh my god. So, the way that Max said, what is he doing putting her in the ground like that? It was very, um... It's a bit disturbing because it sounds, she sounds like a child. Not really realizing what's in front of her eyes. This might be loud, I'm sorry. Oh, the deer. Am 
Wow. She has been there the entire time. Rachel's been missing. She has been at the junkyard the entire time. Did Nathan paint his truck? Did you see the license plate? I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. Yeah. We have proof. Fuck the police. No. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years. And nobody is going to get in my way. Especially mm. with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Don't, don't bring the gun. Come on, this is at school, dude. Oh God, this is at a school party. Oh shit! This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. Oh. I don't give a shit. The world <laughs> is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Chloe, pay attention. There's two moons. What? That's weird. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. Oh, no. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm painting the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, uh, Max. I hate that Sorry. he did that a little bit. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I yeah. never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey. We still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible. No, he has <laughs> not to me. He's Warren. such an inconvenience right now. Text soon. <sighs> he is drunk. Oh god. Oh, the okay. tablet with cat pics. Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus some of the vortex. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? No. Nope. Uh, no, thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Um, Chloe? Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Anything unusual? Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and 
You bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Yeah. Good luck. That was somewhat of a pointless conversation, but it's okay. Let's enter. I hate all of this. <laughs> Pool gobs. Everybody electrocuted. I mean, it looks fun. You need to find Nathan and take him down. Oh God, the flashing lights. Okay, let's move through here. Brooke, I don't want to talk to her. She sucks. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. What? Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Was that Alyssa? Okay, I can warn her. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Of course, my object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. That was like the fifth time I've warned her. It's amazing. Okay, let's go back here. Oh. Okay. Hey, Max. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? If I get sick now. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Want to get ripped? Uh, no. You look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, he came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're going to find somebody just as cool, just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense, and your voice sounds different. You okay? Oh my god. How about a quick dab? No. Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay, let's cool, move Justin. on, please. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. <sighs> Poor guy. Dab acid, maybe? This looks terrible. Who wants to do this? Oh God. Hello, can you please hurl and flush Somebody's over? either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ew. Ugh, Max. I love Lauren. Oh, no. Good night, sweet friend. Max is a feminazi, wow. Kill the Prescotts, jeez. Okay, this, why did I come in here? There's nothing happening in here. I mean, there's a lot happening in here, but... 
the flashes. I'm so sorry, y'all. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Oh, sorry, God. but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Okay, well, let's can we put our name on the list. Excuse me, but I'm... Is there anything new? Okay, no, there isn't anything new. Um, okay. Let me go talk to Courtney, I guess. It's Luke. I don't want to talk to him. I can talk to hey, her now. Courtney, how are you? Max, our guests are arrived fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. Oh my god. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I've personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. I hate all of it. Get me out of here. <laughs> What are you going to do? Get my way. These Megan kids is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Girl, oh god. Kate, okay. Thank you so much for coming. Bye, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me and so many... Okay. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought some school books I need to give him a big hug. Okay. Call me as soon as you can. All right. A bomb. Give me a break. Well, who's this? What's up, Hayden? Oh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG butts. <laughs> oh so I can barely my god. See. Are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? <sighs> no. I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take a quick hit. Uh, Sean Prescott. Hey, Why am I asking about that? Does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? The Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? The Prescott family is literally making me dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Okay. I don't oh want to talk God. to anyone. Max, seriously, what are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Eat shit, Taylor. Enjoy the end <laughs> of the world. Okay, oh. like, maybe I will. <laughs> what? 
Okay, like, maybe I will. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Yes. Um, okay, but let me just see. There's a couple people here. Chair. Okay. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. Oh, I don't have come time on. for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Nathan. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. Yeah, this we know. Is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Ooh, Jefferson. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Ooh. Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw and heard. Oops. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Not enemies. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Ooh. Of course I'm gonna warn her. Of course. I gotta look out for her, even though she's a pain in my ass. Fix right. She just registered a domain, uploaded a video, shared it with everyone. Victoria's innocent in all of this. Mm hmm We have to warn her, right? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. Oh, no. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that mm. is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. Mm. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. What? Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay hmm. away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight. Okay? That decision came I'll back. I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. Wow. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. I mean, it took a while to get there, but we did it. <laughs> Okay, what were you doing back there? Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. 
Let me talk to okay. these two real quick. Thanks, Max. I guess I'll be on my toes. You should be. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. Nope. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. Trevor, end of the world. Okay. I know. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. At least they know. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Yeah. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. <laughs> Okay. Bye bye. Oxygen kit? There you are. Oh, okay. Chloe, Nathan yeah. isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. What the hell is Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Jefferson Dale. Nathan can't hide anymore. So you made it, Max. Oh, uh hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? What are you doing you here? Like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh I was just Looking for Nathan. Uh huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the uh the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. This was the party that he's announcing the winner? That's very weird. This is a kid's party. I mean... Okay, okay everybody calm down. Thank you. Like, Thank you. sorry. He's... He's been such a stand-up dude up until this point. And... This party, Nathan told his dad to, like keep the, the police away they're drinking they're, they're doing drugs the kids are the kids are drunk and he's over here like I'm gonna announce the winner what either this was just like a bad little chunk of writing or I don't know yeah not really sure this was like not a good character like thing for him I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. I think it would have been nice Before to see him, I do, like, I want to thank everybody who entered their throwing out alcohol or and something. everybody who thought about it. Now, this oh my God. is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... This is super weird. Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Everyone's booing her. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and wow. I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. 
I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk. Oh my god, did you hear that? <laughs> I just snorted. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> That's the, so wonderful. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> this is shocking. I am shocked. Are you shocked? Sarcasm? Yes? <laughs> oh god. Yes. Now, me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. That was so funny. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> That's some shit that I would do. I was Nathan not. Just texted me. Nice. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. Glad you got one well, last look at Rachel. Right now. What is he doing? Ooh, that's so creepy. There's two moons. Ooh, that's so spooky. That would really bug me out. Stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Oh my god. I think this is the end of this episode, but. Oh no. Dude, you wouldn't catch me here. No. Police. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. We cannot be handling things like this on our own. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Scared me. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Oops, sorry. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. You suck, Victoria. Max, please hurry. That was so funny. <laughs> oh god, Max, look. She's still there. This is not the Don't time. Look, Chloe. Mm. Man, that's so awful. I can't believe she's been there the entire <gasps> Whoa, whoa! No, no! The needles, the needles, the needles, Nathan! What the fuck? Nathan! Whoa! <gasps> what? What? I don't remember that. Oh, this I do. Hmm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that coming? Did you see that coming? Did you see it? Was, was there anything that gave it away? Did you see that? Well, huh? So, shall we discuss? I don't know what to say, actually. I don't know what to say. That was so creepy. Jefferson, um, he must have followed the girls out of the school as soon as they left. And I wonder if it was Nathan texting them or Nathan wasn't around. So I don't know if he, if they, so Nathan and Jefferson are working together clearly, right? 
First time I saw the headshot aim, I thought Nathan with that aim, right? So, so Nathan and Jefferson are working together. They've been working together. Can you imagine what that relationship is like? Well, like he's a student at school, professor at school. They, they're in class and you have this incredibly dark secret. They killed a girl. Two girls now. And they're keeping it under wraps. They have an underground bunker. They have a full on production of like just, I don't even know. It's, it's so much bigger. Like Max was saying. And the car. So there was a car in some of the pictures in, um, in the investigation that Max was doing. <laughs> the car, it was a gray car. It was Jefferson's. I recognized it from the, f when we first saw him drive off. Thought it was interesting that they chose to like show that scene when Principal Wells was sending him off after he got suspended and taken off the list for the everyday heroes um, content or trip content. Um, so I recognized that car right away. And we knew that probably at the beginning of this episode, but what a fantastic ending to episode four. Let's look at our decisions. Yeah. You accepted Chloe's request. So this was the, the beginning of this episode. We had went back in time and change some of the decisions of our life. <laughs> Many movies explore the, that teacher-student dynamic. Interesting to see a game do it. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Interesting that this choice counted when it didn't really happen, but I guess it happened in that universe, that parallel. So 56% of us, we accepted Chloe's request to load her up on morphine then we let warren beat up nathan 40 percent of us did that 60 percent stopped him wow interesting hmm i wonder if nathan's alive i wonder if jefferson might have killed him i don't know so we had three outcomes in this scene with frank chloe and max six percent chloe killed frank Chloe wounded Frank, 22%. No one got hurt, 72%. That seems like the best outcome. Victoria believed your warning, and this all had to do with the apologizing for the ice cream, or sorry, the ice cream, the paint getting spilled on her sweater. Can you believe? I think on my very, very first playthrough, um... Oh, no, I never even got this decision my first time because I know <laughs> ice cream. That'd be delicious. Think about ice cream. Um, not my very first playthrough because I never finished episode four and I never finished episode five. But I watched I think I had watched someone get the didn't believe your warning because we were mean to her when the paint spilled all over her. So our mini decisions we saved the Blue Jay at Chloe's house, 45% of us. There was a bird's nest that we didn't find, 93%, so we didn't disturb it. Okay. You found David's code. You got David's files in another way. Aha. Uh -huh. I didn't get the code, but I got the crowbar, and 54% of us got David's files. 60% Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Okay. You motivated Daniel to attend the Vortex Club party. I didn't even see him there. And I probably, I, I kind of regret, like, not, like, persuading him to go because I hated that place. You left the message on Warren's slate, 20%. You figured out Nathan's pin code, 38%. 62% didn't figure out his pin code? Wow. You helped Alyssa, 75%. Trailer. Oh no. Oh 
Oh no. Mm. Do we think he's sleeping with? Ooh. Sorry. Do we think he's sleeping with the girls? Oh, okay. Storm is here. I don't know if it's been like that. Maybe it has. All right. Well, that was episode four, everyone. It's very intense. I'm feeling very emotional. <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts, <clears throat> and I think we'll talk a little bit longer um, at the end of the game. So once we get through episode five, let's let's chat. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed episode four in a good way. We're a little bit closer to figuring out what is going on. Um, unfortunately, Max is kind of at the core of it now, but. We'll figure out. We'll, we'll see what's going on in episode five. But until then, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I will see you next stream. I'm out of here. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.